اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to focus on how to use regression in smart PLS 4. So apart from a PLS SCM based models or conditional indirect effects that we are going to look into detail later smart PLS also allows you to do regression analysis. Now to do so let's say I'm just going to do it in this particular project here otherwise you can create a new project So click here regression and where do you want it which project do you want it in if you want to create a new project create a new project and then add it in that particular project let's say in this case i just want to do it in process and it will be a regression model type let's name it regression save it now i've got a few composite variables here in my data set let's say op is my dependent variable this is my intercept that is the constant here let's say i've got two ivs cc drag and drop it onto your dependent variable otherwise it won't work so drag and drop it onto your dependent variable now cc influencing op let's say oc influencing op as well now these two here are your independent variables this is your dependent variable this is your intercept the constant bring it here Let's extend this one a bit here. Let's move it on here, here, here. Now, in order to run it, let's say calculate regression analysis. So I'm going just going to use the defaults. Press start calculation. Now here are your results. Now what is this? This is your R square, forty three point. 1-3% change in OP is being accounted by these. Now, this is your standardized coefficients here. Let's say you want to change it. You can have Durbin Watson statistics as well. So here is your Durbin Watson, and you can have your unstandardized coefficients with your p-values. or you can have your standardized coefficients with your p values whatever you feel like reporting let's use unstandardized coefficients with p values so you can export it as image as well clipboard or file and you can have a detailed report as well so final results summary coefficients cc oc intercept so all three are significant confidence intervals standardized coefficients unstandardized coefficients so the impact of cc on op in this case is significant why p is less than 0.05 same is the case with oc your anova table so overall your model is significant your f statistics your mean square your degrees of freedom your sum of square your p value your unstandardized coefficients your standardized coefficients your r square your collinearity diagnostics well good no issues with collinearity your residuals and you can have your qq plot as well well it is looks quite problematic anyways the residual histogram shows more like a normal distribution so you can have bruch pagan test as well so all this is available just as normal regression now let's compare these results to our spss results Let's say I've got these summary coefficients and my variables were OC and CC. So let's go to analyze regression linear. I've already added CC. Let's add OC and press OK. Now let's look at this R square point four three one. What was R square here? Let's go to graphical output and R square point four three one. Now f square one two eight one seven two. Look at your f square. So go to report. Anova one two eight one seven two. And similarly, you will have your unstandardized coefficients here. Cc point two nine two point four five three. Cc point two nine two. If you round it off and point four five three, both of them are significant. So the values are 
the same. It's the same regression that you do in SPSS. Now you can do it a bit more easily in Smart PLS with the graphical output as well. I hope this session would have helped you understand how to run regression analysis in Smart PLS 4. Thank you very much.